Chains of Hate is our take on the cowboy fantasy, but not just any fantasy, a fantasy that, that really evoked Dead by Daylight, a dark and twisted fantasy. And what we kind of came up with was this John Ford meets John Carpenter kind of thing. The promise of Chains of Hate is really to kind of embody the, the pioneer spirit in both the characters, in Caleb, our death slinger, and in Zarina. Caleb Quinn, our death slinger, he is, to my mind, the entity's personal bounty hunter. He is not a traditional cowboy, he's not a cattle herder. He is innovative, he's creative, he's industrious. He is an engineer by vocation. He is what you would get if uh, Da Vinci had been born in South Dakota in the 1800s. He ends up working for a railroad and this railroad tycoon robs him of his inventions and this sets him off on a path of vengeance. But before he can secure his revenge, Revenge, he's arrested and put into one of the first private prisons where the warden instantly recognizes his ability and he make he strikes a deal with him he says you know you help me fill my prison with living prisoners and I'll help you secure justice Caleb ends up creating this chimerical rifle that spits out a chain lasso and spear that can capture outlaws alive not dead un no but le euh, principal, c'était d'avoir un feeling first-person shooter. C'est rapide, c'est intuitif, l'arme est vraiment la star quand j'utilise euh, ce killer-là, mais ça pouvait pas être aussi simple que juste « Pauvre, t'es mort ». Il fallait rajouter la twist « Dead by Daylight ». C'est là qu'on a pensé à la mécanique de reeling, où est-ce qu'on connectait le survivant avec le killer par une chaîne, et où là, le killer pouvait ramener le survivant vers lui. Puis qu'est-ce qu'on a fait pour augmenter la tension aussi, c'est que les, les deux caméras sont tournées une vers l'autre. Le survivant regarde le killer, le killer regarde le survivant, ils peuvent pas regarder ailleurs. Il y a comme un, un sentiment d'urgence qui s'installe. Ça file euh, authentique et très, très dead by daylight. C'est pretty new pour nous, parce que c'est le premier gun rifle que nous avons dans le jeu. Et nous voulions ajouter cette extra histoire à it. Le Death Slinger, il est quelqu'un qui est très fier de son invention. Et nous voulions show the, the, the rifle with his touch. It just feels bulky and way more violent than just a normal rifle. Every time we were adding something, it just felt better and better. We were very happy with the end result. We pushed some of the feature, like the, uh, the eyes, the nose, uh, and the jaw. You clearly see something happen. We can feel that he's, he's been through a lot. Zarina is our modern day cowboy with a camera. She's resourceful, she's creative, she's innovative, she embodies the pioneer spirit. Zarina will follow a lead no matter where it takes her. And this boldness and this determination is uh, not only a strength, but it's also her flaw. It leads her into all kinds of dangerous scenarios, and the last of which is a prison where she's actually snatched by the entity. When you look at Zarina, you see that she's uh, confident. Her posture is very straight. She doesn't mind wearing some uh, fashionable stuff. What we have is uh, a level that's our version of Monument Valley. For me, the important thing was if you close your eyes, you feel like you're in the desert. When you walk in the uh, ghost town, uh, in the streets, one thing I really wanted the, f the player to feel is he feels like he's being watched by someone, but clearly there's nobody. We wanted to push stuff even beyond what, from what we usually do. First is the uh, exit gate, we changed, we did a specific one for this one. We changed also the, uh, the fences around, which is a first time for us. Uh, we also did a new shack, uh, thematized on the uh, Caleb, the Dead Singer. What's around the map? We usually stay, uh, leave it very obscure, but now we wanted to push a bit more and add a vista like cliffs, mountains, uh, mixed with our own entity look. By pushing the boundaries uh, with a new level, adding this, those extra elements in the environment to make it a richer experience, I think it's bringing the game to an all new level. I think we're at a point where we surpass one way or another. Il y a un gros désir d'innovation. This for me is probably one of the most memorable chapters to date. We're bringing a unique cowboy experience to Dead by Daylight. Zarina brings grit, courage, and the selflessness of the pioneer spirit to the trials. The Death Slinger, Chain Lasso, and Herd survivors for the entity. Seriously, only in Dead by Daylight.